these two GPUs were always the ones which many users would choose if they wanted a graphics card that isn't very loud or hot and could run on pretty much any PSU, but also start a few games, especially the lighter titles, like CSGO or Fortnite. But they would always be considered as pretty much the same in terms of performance. And judging by the specs they should be, despite the R7 250 having a few shading units less than the HD7750. This kind of a model is much more common than the 250 with 512 shader units. So in terms of general specs, they are very similar. But are they that similar in performance? Well, there is only one way to find that out. So as the results have shown us, the 7750 is a tiny bit better in terms of average frame rates, but the 250 gave in return a much more stable experience, which was also pretty visible in the 1% and 0.1% figures. Personally I would always choose the R7 250, as they are overall the same thing, so I would prefer the slightly newer and a bit more polished GPU.